Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to um, your love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so, guys, we're going to do a, a quick channeling messages, a couple of oracle cards, and then we're going to get into the reading, okay? So, Pisces, I feel like there was a connection here where someone made promises okay someone here made some very serious promises someone here may even have signed contracts like signed you know for someone's car or signed a lease or something of those of that nature um i feel pisces that uh someone here got taken advantage of really badly financially um yeah, someone here is either going to lose money or have to continue paying money after something has ended. Um, I feel like someone here didn't get enough information about someone's past, okay? Someone just believed that somebody was stable and loving, but they didn't, they didn't get enough information about this person. They didn't try to learn about this person's past or who they were. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, Pisces, maybe you sh should start finding some information about this person before, you know, if you haven't signed anything or if you haven't made any, you know, major decisions yet with this person, look into their past a little bit and see who they are before you make any decisions. Um, nothing will come of the situation and the end of a tough cycle approaches. Uh, Pisces, I feel like you're realizing here that you might be investing your time, money, attention, and love into something that is not going anywhere. It's not a good investment. Um, yeah, see, six chakra just flipped out. Your intuition is telling you something here. Archangel Metatron, your, your intuition is telling you something here. Pisces, that something just isn't right. Yeah, indecision. It, it's causing you to second guess the situation. It's causing you to wonder, you know, should I walk away? Um, take action and financial constraints. I feel like Pisces, you know that you know, this person, you know, might take action to just take something from you and go. Like if you get, if you sign for this person to, you know, get a car or something like that, they may just take whatever you're giving them and run. You know, you just have this feeling like something isn't right. Um, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Your higher self and ascended masters. Um, Pisces, I feel like you're just trying to be a good person. You know, I feel like you're trying to operate from your higher self. I feel like, you know, you're trying not to live in fear or in doubt. You're trying to not, you know what I'm saying, function uh, in that way. But your guides and your angels are going to, uh, they're trying to wake you up. Your guides and your angels are trying to wake you up. So I wouldn't um, disregard whatever your intuition is telling you. Do you see what I'm saying? I wouldn't disregard that. Um, tell me about Pisces, please. We've got the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation. Um, I, I feel like it's, you know, you, you're trying, I feel like your guides and I feel like your guides and your angels are trying to protect you from something. Um, the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Pisces, I feel like you may possibly be um, using money or acts of service to ensure that somebody won't leave you like that like you have that you may not realize this but you might be using money or acts of service thinking oh well if i do this for, for this person they're going to love me and not leave me do you understand um i i feel like you're just in a process here where you're looking for unconditional love but you're operating from a place of uh you know fear so what you're trying to do here even though you don't realize that 
you're trying to, you know, spend money on somebody or go through these extravagant ways of showing somebody how much you really care, love them, trust them, um, so that they love you back. But that's not, you know what I'm saying? That's a true love should be unconditional. It should be a give and take. It shouldn't be just you giving to a connection to show someone how much you love them. Tell me about Pisces, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. We've got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You may be taking this person away. Oh, that's way too many, many cards. You may be taking this person away on trips, or you may have moved into a new home with this person. Um, codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person may be um, uh, 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 codependent on you financially. Okay, or you may just have it, you know, in your head here that this is a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, but is this person, you know, karmic? Like you may feel a very strong tie towards this person. Um, I, I feel like someone is confusing a toxic tie, like maybe narcissistic abuse or emotional abuse for a soul tie connection. Like someone here is confusing, oh, oh my gosh, if I think about living without this person, I'll die. So he must be my soulmate or she must be my soulmate. Instead, it's actually a, abuse. It's, it's someone being taken advantage of, okay? So just be wary of that. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Pisces. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Pisces, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right. Yeah, so we've got the Ace of Cups. So Pisces, this might be someone new. <coughs> Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person may be young. They may be younger than you. It may start off as flirtations and sweet nothings. With the Knight of Pentacles, it may turn into something more where now you're dating this person. Um, the thing here is, though, Pisces... I feel that um, with the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, you might be giving um, money to this person because their money is always up and down. Um, this could be an indication of, you know, you're not really sure if they feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? You don't really get what you deserve here. With the Three of Cups, this can be an energy of you have a good time with this person. This person makes you laugh. They make you feel good. Okay? They make you feel good. But you might find that your finances are up and down because you keep spending money on this person or supporting this person. Um, yeah, I, I feel here, Pisces, that, you know, with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups, I feel like you want to make this person so happy um, that they don't leave you. Do you see what I'm saying? You want to make this person so happy that they don't leave you. Um, with the Four of Cups, I feel like there's a fear of rejection here. You know what I'm saying? There's a fear of rejection or a fear that someone's going to leave. And so, you know, someone's going over the top with giving. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So I feel here, Pisces, that somebody comes in with this very sweet demeanor. And you... Um, you don't think that they're up to anything bad, okay? You don't think that there's anything wrong with the situation. And, you know, as time goes on, this person continues to be stable. You fall in love, all that good stuff. Six of Pentacles with the Emperor. You, you know, someone here may be well off financially and someone is not. I feel like you're giving a lot here, okay? You're giving a lot. Two of Pentacles... And the Knight of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy. This person, um, their money may be up, it may be down. They may be here one minute, they're not here the next minute. But this person is very confident, very sexual, very charismatic. Um, and they want to be treated like a king or queen. This person is feels like they are deserving of that type of attention. Um, tell me about the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I feel like you're, 
a little worried here, Pisces, because I see the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. You're a little worried here. You may, maybe you don't know if this person has a third party or if this is just a game for this person because you're giving a lot. You're giving way too much here, okay? You're giving to the point that your finances are starting to go up and down, okay? Tell me about Pisces, please. Tell me about Pisces person, please. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces, please. We've got the high, uh, hanged man, Piscean energy. And we have the star, Aquarian energy. We've got the hermit in the reverse, Virgo energy, and the five of wands. And the seven of pentacles. Okay, and there's the Emperor under the deck, Aries, Taurus energy. So Pisces, I feel like what we have here is someone is just kind of sitting around. They have no idea what they want. They're not doing any soul searching. They're not really thinking about anything. They're just kind of sitting around, okay? With the Star card and the Five of Wands, I feel like this person... Um, likes attention so this is somebody that may cause fights they may try to make you jealous um they may be talking to other people to get that attention from you um with the seven of pentacles this person uh is just sitting there letting you invest in them that's it okay we've got the emperor here and the queen of cups and the moon card cancer piscean energy um i feel that this person is in control of your emotions they are uh, they are able to uh what's the word i'm looking for disillusion you emotionally they're able to pull the wool over your eyes emotionally they have complete control over the situation or so they think okay um tell me about the hanged man please for pisces the hanged man for pisces we've got um the nine of swords that popped out in the reverse this person that doesn't have a care in the world tell me about the hermit here for pisces and the ten of swords um pisces this person doesn't have a care in the world um they're just kind of waiting for it to end they're waiting for this connect they're waiting to hurt you enough to your till you're finally like it's over do you understand so they're waiting they don't really you know care about anything they're taking whatever you're giving them and then they keep hurting you and they're like well eventually pisces will have enough and you know put, push me away and uh they'll, they'll realize that i'm not serious and you know push me away you understand they're waiting for you to end things Tell me about the star card, Aquarian energy, and the three of wands. Tell me about the five of wands for Pisces, and the king of swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This person is seeking attention. They love attention. They love attention. And with the five of wands and the king of swords in the reverse, this is narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse. This is gaslighting. Okay, I got a very strong energy of gaslighting, causing problems that you blow up on them. Um, tell me about the seven of pentacles, please. And the six of wands. This person is going to sit there, keep allowing you to invest in them while they gather up all the coin. While they gather up all the coin, they gather up everything that, you know, they're accumulating everything. And then... Boom. You know, they're just waiting for it to end. They're waiting for you to say finally enough is enough. Okay. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Pisces. Tell me about the challenge here for Pisces. The challenge here for Pisces. Um, Pisces, the challenge here is, is that with the three of pentacles, the six of swords and the three of wands, um, you're, you're still wanting to make this work. You still think that if you put work into the situation that you can, um, uh, uh, fix it, that you can get what you want out of this person, that things will be better. But with the 10 of wands and the eight of cups and the four of swords here, I feel like even you are starting to give up emotionally on the connection tell me about the outcome here for pisces the outcome here for pisces we have um the knight of wands leo sagittarius energy the three of swords and the two of cups with the ace of cups so 
Pisces, I feel like this person is playing games. I feel like they're out to hurt you. They're portraying themselves to be a soulmate or in a relationship when they're not. They're claiming to love you when they're not. You know what I'm saying? I feel like with the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles here, again, you know, you're trying to do everything you can to make this person happy emotionally, um, financially. So they're just soaking that up. Um, this person may even have a third party. They may be cheating. Okay. So just be careful. Just be careful, all right? Uh, I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye, loves.